what can you do with only three ingredients? January is the poorest month of the year and also the coldest for many. I need a dish to remember summer, warmth and cool drinks. Today I want to plate you a classic Spanish dish, tortilla de patata. These are the ingredients that you will need. 700 grams of potatoes, two small onions and six eggs. You also need some olive oil to fry in and some salt. Okay, so let's get started. It's not the most fun job, but weirdly satisfying either way to peel potatoes. At first you have a mountain of unpeeled ones and then all of a sudden, poof, <laughs> you have all of it done. So start peeling all the potatoes and then we're gonna move on to the onion. Take the onion and cut the root and top off and then you slice the onion in half. Peel off the remaining skin from the onion and lay it on the flat side down and start slicing it into strips. Then we can set it aside for later. Next we're gonna take the potatoes and slice them down the middle and then with the flat side down slice them again into smaller half circle shaped pieces. When you've prepared all the potatoes set them aside and start cracking six eggs into a bowl. Whisk the eggs until the white and yellow are combined and then add two pinches of salt. Now that we're done preparing, let's jump to the cooking. In a pan, add enough olive oil to coat the potatoes and the onion. I used around 500 grams of olive oil. Turn the heat to a high setting and then quickly warm up the olive oil. When it's ready, lower the temperature to medium and start frying the onion and then you can add the potatoes. There's no exact science to when this is done. It all comes down to the thickness of the onion and the potato. But once the potato is cooked through, you can take it off the heat. Take a bowl and put a mesh strainer on top of it. Put the onion and potato mix in the strainer and let the olive oil drip from the potato and onion. When the oil has stopped dripping, it's time to add the potato and onion to the egg wash. Mix it to combine and then we're ready for the last step, frying the tortilla. Add some of the discarded oil back into the pan, then put the stove on medium. Pour in the egg mixture and slowly cook the tortilla. While we wait, how about you pressing that subscribe button? It will make the cooking process go quicker. Now when that's done, let's flip the cooked tortilla. You do this easiest by using a plate the same size as your pan then put the plate inside the pan and quickly turn it around. The tortilla will land on the plate and you can help it back into the pan by pushing it. Cook the other side of the tortilla and then put it on a cutting board to let it cool down to room temperature. The tortilla is soft on the inside and you have the smell and taste from the onion once you bite into it. I decided to eat this tortilla with some steak and some butter fried asparagus. But generally you can eat this with anything that goes with potatoes. And there you have it. If you're still with me, go ahead and smash that like button. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way through to the end. See you in the next video.